Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my favourite summer green smoothie. Green smoothies are all the rage, everybody loves them, they're so great for you, but this one truly is. It's so balanced, you've got everything you need to start the day off right. So we've got avocado and coconut yoghurt, which is incredible for all those healthy fats. I've got banana, great for potassium, pre, post workouts. Almond butter, my favourite ingredient. So great for you, great for your hair, your skin, your nails, because of all the vitamin E. But also just so great for all that plant-based protein to start the day off right, keep you fuller for longer. Got the greens, which we've got spinach and kale. You can mix it up too. If you've got something growing in your garden, like chard, great as well for this. Some matcha powder, which is a natural caffeine. It's incredible to boost your antioxidant levels, but also just wake you up. And then we've got some oat milk to blend it. So we're just gonna chuck it all in the blender. You don't need a fancy blender for this, just any kind of blender. Just blend it up, smooth, pour it into the glasses, and you're good to go. So we're gonna add all the ingredients to the blender. So I'm gonna start by adding the milk, just because it makes it really easy to blend all the other ingredients. Now this is up to you how thick um, you want your smoothie, really. So you can add half a cup to a cup and a half, but I like it really thick and creamy. So I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm going to add about half a cup here and I can add more as I go just to see how it's blending up. I'll probably add more because we're going to add quite a lot of avocado for this one. So I'm going to start by adding in the avocado and we're just going to add a good half an avocado really. Maybe a cup and a half, there we go. I'm just going to scoop it into the blender in all its creamy goodness, making sure to get every little bit to the skin because that's where the real goodness lies. Yum. And then keep the other half in your fridge freezer. Make some avocado toast. So next I'm going to add the banana. Just peel this down. I actually really like the riper the banana the sweeter it is. Everybody gets a little bit scared when it gets lots of, lots of dots and stuff but still really good. As long as it's not bruised inside it's going to be delicious and great for you. So that's in. We're going to add now some almond butter. I like to add about a tablespoon of this, so a little heap of tablespoon. It's always nice, it's so creamy and delicious. Look at that, it's super runny. <laughs> Yum. That's about a tablespoon. Yum. You can eat all these ingredients on their own out of the blender. So now we're going to add in a little bit of the coconut yogurt. So this one's actually quite hard, but we can just add in about a heat tablespoon again. You can use coconut cream if you can't get any coconut yogurt. So either way, just to get some good fats in there, that's great. So now we're going to add in our greens. We've got spinach, kale and matcha. So you can add as much or as little of these as you want. They make it really thick though and they're great for you so you want to add quite a bit. I'm going to add probably this whole bowl actually because I'm going to make two. So that's you know, two good handfuls. It looks like so much more than it goes down to, so don't be scared by the amount of green. Um, and then I'm just going to add one handful of the kale. Kale's quite a cruciferous vegetable, so quite high, like hard to break down really. So you want to blend it um, or massage it when you eat it, because otherwise you're not going to get all the goodness out of it. Final thing, and my favourite thing to add to a smoothie, is a little bit of matcha powder. So I literally, I'm just going to take a pinch because you don't want very much, it's really, really strong. So, just a really good pinch full. Perfect. So the last thing we're gonna do is just maybe add a little bit more milk, because we've got a lot of ingredients going. Let's put the lid on and blend. So it's all blended. I ended up using quite a lot more milk because the avocado was really super rich and creamy and it took up a lot of time to blend. It is so delicious looking, it smells amazing, and now we're ready to enjoy. So that took, what, five minutes? I'm just gonna pour it into my cup. Yum. So there we have it, my delicious summer green smoothie. Super delicious and a great breakfast on the go. Hope you guys love this recipe, and I'll see you next time. Ah, okay. <laughs> Stand by. Slap me in the face. All right.